In the back, Eric Russo. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Guys, uh, what did backs mean tonight, especially getting you guys started with that four check on the first goal? Yeah, obviously uh, it was hugely for us. You know, Bucks is a very physical player, and and uh, he brought he brought it tonight, and and uh, you know it was all over the ice, and and uh, it was it was huge for us, and 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 big lift. I think I said it also. It's nothing. So. Ty, and then Mick. Uh, structurally tonight, do you feel it was an improvement getting into the attacking zone and, and keeping possession to to create plays? Yeah, I think we did a much better job at uh, uh, creating a forecheck, uh, putting pressure in there where, where last game, um, they, they were, it was much too easy for them to, to flip pucks out of the zone and uh, get on their forecheck. So um, we did a little better job at that tonight, and, and uh, it's something we're going to have to focus on moving forward. Uh, David, uh, that early hit you had that got called, that didn't seem to discourage you. You threw a lot of them out there tonight. Did you, did you go into this game thinking, I'm going to really take the body and start uh, knocking, some guys, knocking some guys down? Uh, to be honest, uh, obviously, I uh, uh, didn't feel, the, didn't feel uh, pretty good uh, on the puck, uh, the game one. And, and uh, today I was uh, going into the game, just uh, try to help uh, any, any how, I, how I can, you know, and, and uh, uh, try to get the uh, uh, hype, hype like that, you know, and then... And then got a little bit more space out there, so it uh, worked. Uh, in front, and then second row. Uh, Brad, you know a little bit about not backing down, and uh, Bruce uh, Cassidy was saying that you are a group of players and, and a team that doesn't back down from a physical challenge. It was safe to say that tonight maybe this series stepped up a little bit in intensity. How do you manage that going forward and not get carried away too much? Yeah, they... Um they set the tempo there first game. They came out hard and, and played uh, a little more physical than they did in the regular season. Um, you know, and, and we weren't necessarily prepared for that, but uh, I think we, we were tonight. And um, you, know, you know, saw that you know, things were getting uh, pretty amped up there towards the end of the game and uh, a lot of emotions, and that's what playoff hockey is all about. It's going to happen on both sides. Um, there's going to be a lot of physicality the rest of the series. Um, I think you can expect that from both groups. and. Uh, it's going to be fun. I think that's what uh, we all look forward to. And um, but uh, yeah, at the same time, you have to control your emotions, and uh, it's not always the easiest thing. But uh, that's what you have your teammates rely on uh, to keep you, you know, in check. And um, but it's going to be a fun series. Brad, how tough is it to sort of control your emotions when a guy like Cadbury <coughs> comes at you, and you know, you go to the bench and he goes to the box? Does that show, you know, sort of a growth in your game? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, things happen quick out there, and, and uh, you know, he's one of those players that you need to be aware of when, when he's on the ice. He's very physical, uh, but, I mean, he, he's very talented, too, and saw the play made in the in the first game there uh, across ice to, to Nylander, but, um, you know, he's a big physical presence for their team, and, and uh, I mean, this is how it is. I think it was a hook, um, so, I, you know, I wasn't really con over, overly concerned about him coming after me on that play, but uh, just how it plays out sometimes. Take two more starting in the back. Brad, the Leafs are now worried that Nas could get suspended for a second straight series against you guys. How have you gotten so much better at dealing with your emotions and not going over the line in terms of playoff performance? Well, again, I mean, I think it's it, it things that happen out there are so they, they happen so quick. It's a split second decision, and sometimes you make the right one, sometimes you make the wrong one. So. You know, knock on wood, uh, things continue to go the right way. And, and uh, but you know, it, it, in playoffs you're a little more amped up, and and uh, your emotions are a little higher. So sometimes you may, f you know, find yourself stepping over the line here and there. But uh, luckily, the refs let a lot more go in, in playoff time, so uh, kind of plays into that a bit and adds the emotion of the game. But uh, you know, that's one of those plays that I'm sure the league will look at, and and uh, you know, it's out of our control. We're just gonna focus on playing. Jack, last one. So much of the emphasis going into game two was on decision making when you had the puck. Um, yet, when games tend to get more physical, sometimes it's harder to make clear decisions. How did you and your teammates do both? Uh, 
Uh, well, we, we were focusing on, uh, on the first couple shifts. We, we want to make sure that uh, every puck went deep and, and uh, want to set the, set the four check right away uh, from the beginning and get the legs going, you know. And, and I said uh, we start with uh, Achari's line and, and, and they did exactly that in the first shift. So, uh, uh, you know, the, the rest of the line saw that on the bench and I, I think that was a huge for us. So, uh, see, uh, uh, they got guys like me uh, going and, and uh, start hitting. So uh, obviously that was a really good start, and and, uh, and uh, you know that's that's what we have to take. Uh, every shift, uh, puck has to go deep, and we are good for checking teams, so we have to use it. Thanks, everyone.